Hey guys, Ben from Snowboard Gamer. On this channel, I show you all the board games that we're playing. Hopefully this gives you an idea of some games you can play with your family and friends. I do a weekly show on Fridays. I also do monthly board game giveaways. My channel is not sponsored by anyone, so it gives us the freedom to play what we want, show you what it is, and give you our opinion on it. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. I also do monthly roundups where I go through the top five games we played the previous month, and that's what this video is today. So let's go over our top five games played in May of 2018. Number five, Azul. This game is for two to four players ages eight and up and plays in 30 to 45 minutes. This game was recently nominated for the board game of the year, the Spiel des Jahres Award. This is a tile laying game in Portugal where you're tiling a beautiful wall and you take turns picking tiles from the middle of the table and placing them on your board and eventually moving them over to your wall. This is a really fun game. We've been enjoying it a lot lately. I'm also giving away a copy right now on my channel. So if you haven't entered that giveaway, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. It ends June 11th. Number four is Werebeasts. This is a game we played for the first time this month. We cracked it open and we've been playing it a bunch. This is for three to 10 players ages eight and up and plays in 15 minutes. This is a very lightweight game. It's a party game. 10 players is a lot of players for a board game and it plays very well with 10. Werebeast is a set collection game, which means you're trying to collect certain cards. You have a hidden identity, which means people don't know which cards you're collecting. And that adds an interesting twist to the game. Throughout the game, you flip over the top card on your turn and auction it off to the best bidder. And then you get either their Wear Chow, which is the currency of the game, or they can give you cards. The cool part of Werebeast is that you can accuse a player of collecting a certain card. And if you're correct, they're out of the game. If you're incorrect, you're out of the game. And it eventually goes down to two players like that. And then in the last two players, whoever has the most points wins. And the points are based on the cards that you're collecting. It's a really fun one if you're looking for a lightweight game. Number three is Wizard. This is an oldie but goodie. It came out in the 1980s. It's for three to six players, ages 10 and up, and plays in 45 minutes. This is a trick-taking game with a standard 52 card deck with four jesters and four wizards thrown in. And the difference in those are that you can play them at any time. The jester is nothing and the wizard beats everything, even the trump suit. Every round you flip over the top card and then that's the trump suit for the round. You're bidding on how many tricks you think you can win. So someone leads off with a three of hearts. Everyone else plays a heart and whoever has the highest hearts wins. Unless someone played the wizard or the trump suit. This is a great game if you like card games and if you like trick taking games like hearts or spades. The number two game we played is Secret Hitler. This is for five to 10 players ages 17 and up and plays in 45 minutes. The 17 and up theme is just because it's Hitler, I think, and a little controversial. We play with teenagers, it's totally fine. In this game, you have a liberal government in Germany trying to keep it together and prevent the fascists from taking over and installing Hitler as their leader. You split into two teams. Everyone has a secret identity that they look at at the beginning of the game. Everyone closes their eyes, the fascists, open their eyes so the fascists know who each other are. Hitler doesn't know who anyone is and is trying to get elected into power. You go through a series of elections and implement either liberal or fascist policies into the government. There are always tons of moments in this game. We just love Secret Hitler. It is a great game and they have a hard time keeping it on stock on the shelves. It's so popular. Our number one game played in May of 2018 is Potion Explosion. This is for two to four players ages eight and up and plays in 30 to 45 minutes. Potion Explosion is kind of like Candy Crush or Bejeweled in board game form. You take a marble out of the middle and marbles roll down on the marble dispenser. And then any marbles that collide are the same color. You get those also and you're trying to fill potion orders in order to pass your final exam at the Magic Academy. And this is a really fun game. We've been enjoying it a lot. There's an expansion we're thinking about getting, but I haven't gotten that yet. So check out Potion Explosion. Great game. I'm going to end with one honorable mention. We only played this game one time this month, but I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to more plays of it. It was my first time ever playing this game. It's called Steam Time. Steam Time is a worker placement game for two to four players ages 12 and up and plays in 90 minutes. This is a longer game. And what worker placement means is everyone gets three steam ships, which you're traveling through time and you're trying to visit certain artifacts through history. And those three steamships are basically your workers and there are all these different actions on the board and you place them on the different actions and you get certain things for them. You get these little crystals that help power your 
your Steam ships to travel through time. I really enjoyed Steam time. I'm definitely looking forward to playing this one some more. I played two players with Travis, and I really want to see how this game plays at four players. I think it'll be even more amazing. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully this gave you some ideas of games you can play with your family and friends. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more board game content. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye.